National History Museum of Crete. I just came in uh, and I have to say it's fascinating. There's all the animals, I'm sure they're all stuffed animals, real animals from, the, from Crete. It's amazing. I never seen this type of board in my entire life. Now, you don't get to see all the all the boards. Boards of prey, even on nature programs on the TV. But I've never seen this one. It's called um, a bearded vulture, right? A, a large mountain dwelling vulture, which mainly feeds on livestock bones. Uh, the Cretan population of six to seven pairs is the only breeding nucleus in southeastern. Europe. Imagine that, only six to seven pairs left. Look at this, it's like that's in there. The machine. That's amazing. And this is the golden eagle. The golden eagle is Crete's top predator with a population ranging from 22 to 26 breeding pairs. So this is Crete's go golden eagle. Hello. And this is, of course, I've seen the peregrine, the peregrine falcon. It's saying here, a fairly common falcon on Crete, found in almost all of the islands, gorges, and on coastal cliffs. It preys on other birds taken on the wing. The peregrine falcon is considered one of the fastest animals on earth, reaching speeds of 380 kilometers per hour, which is absolutely amazing. Amazing. And they have insects like, oh, here's a picture, look, see this picture here, of this um, butterfly. That same butterfly is on the island of Malta. And I was up on the northern part of the of the of Malta, the main island of Malta, and I seen one of these butterflies flying around in a small farmer's field of vegetables, right? And I hadn't got this camera at the time; I had a different camera, a smaller camera. And I ran around the fields trying to get one, trying to get a picture of them. I got a fantastic picture in the end. I actually have it at home in my kitchen, kitchen wall. I just think the colours in it are beautiful. And actually, I think my photograph is better than that. So there you go. amazing I can't pronounce that name D-E-I-N-O-T-H-E-R-I-U-M which is I can't pronounce that Dinotarium or something right it looks like an, an elephant of some kind right I'm just looking down here uh, there is a left humor there is um, left mandible denture which is kind of the teeth there's one of its ribs and there's the thoracic vertebrae in here and they found this excavation in the year 2000 and are still excavating in eastern Crete that's amazing amazing so you're looking at fossils in the rocks here from 2.5 million years 2.5 million years I know the earth is 4.5 billion but still 2.5 million to me that's Wow, quartz, all the kind of rocks they have here. They have serpentine spill, it's called. Um, they have 
quartz, different kinds of quartz rock, iron oxides, pyrite and quartz. Oh. Take them all here. Looks pretty ferocious looking. I'd say if he was hungry, he'd definitely eat you. sections is all the um, protected areas and stuff but look at this you can just touch on a section and up comes a picture uh, you know a lizard endemic to that area right you can make the map bigger see how we do it again yeah look see see the map getting bigger so I can bring, make it bigger touch stuff on it I can touch on a picture that I like or whatever but then I'm going to reduce the map now okay here it is here so I can see what I'm doing here right back now but you can send emails to yourself from here pictures and stuff tells you all about the flora and the fauna and the nature which is very very good and over here is a, a big Looks like a flat screen TV, and there's this wheel here, and the torn wheel. And it changes the pictures. Very, very good. And then over here, right, see me look, see me in the picture there now, look, there go, I'm in the picture, right? So I'm in the picture with my GoPro, and I can come over here, and I can, I think, change the pictures, I think. Let me see now. Two. All right, that's just shown. That's... Right. So you're supposed to look up there. So then you can... I agree to the terms of this service, and you can, I think you can send it as well by email. Very, very good. Great museum, so if you're in Crete any time, Please come to the Natural History Museum of Crete. It's uh, better than, way better than what I thought it was going to be. Fascinating. Right, back down to the bottom level now. Look at the lovely colour to see out there. Wow. Very nice, very nice. Imagine that guy back in the day at the dinosaurs. Imagine if you were alive back then and meeting one of these. You'd have no chance, would you? If you were in open space, you certainly would have no chance. I mean, look at, oh God, look at, look at the size of his mouth and his teeth. And yet the bigger one is the one that wouldn't touch you at all, I think, as far as I, as far as I know. So here's the, the proper um, information about the What's it, what's it called again? The Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? So, the largest um, carnivore of, no of the Northern Hemisphere, right? So it says here, the Rex uh, dinosaur was a carnivorous dinosaur with a lizard-like pelvis. It lived in North America in the late Cretaceous, 65 to 100 million years ago. 
Its name derives from the Greek word Tyrannos, meaning tyrant, symbolizing the king Rex in Latin of the tyrant lizards. It was first discovered in the United States at the beginning of the 20th century. In 2005, a fossil that was discovered in a narrow ravine in Montana, USA, contained preserved soft organic tissues, including blood vessels and proteins. The scientific community was astonished by these findings and altered their view on the fossilization and preservation processes of biological structures. It is considered a superior predator that reached 12 meters in height and weighed roughly seven tons. The front limbs seem rather small and there are several scientists that consider them vestigial, like a human appendix. Today, based on biomechanical simulations, believed that they enabled the animal to rise and grab its prey in order to kill it. It had 58 teeth, the largest tooth being 30 centimeters long, with a biting force of 15 times stronger than the bite of a lion. Holy God. Okay, that's him. Mr. T-Rex, glad I wasn't around in your day. And this was the Argentinosaurus, I don't know, the largest dinosaur, oh, it's the largest dinosaur, right? So, uh, sauropod dinosaur is a member of the large herbivorous dinosaurs with heavy body, small skull, and long neck and tail. It lived in South America during the same thing, the Cretaceous period, 94 to 97 million years ago. It reached 37 meters in length and weighed between 75 to 100 tons. It was discovered in 1993 by Argentinian paleontologists who found fossil remains of its vertebrae, pelvis and tibia. It was named after the country in which it was discovered. It lived in small herds and thus protected from predators. Its large size was an additional defense against its enemies since contemporary in South America lived other giant predators such as Mosasaurus and Gigantosaurus which are among the biggest land predators on earth. Despite its enormous size, the size of its eggs was the size of a soccer ball, wow, so that the young dinosaurs had to grow up a lot in order to reach 37 meters. Um, although most of the giant predators were extinct by the late Jurassic in South America, Argentiosaurus and its relatives continued to live. So there you go. You know something, um, I wonder is it the same person who names dinosaurs that names flowers? Do you get my point in that? Because they're very very hard to pronounce. Why can't that just be simple? Simple words. Eight-year-old nephew that's mad into dinosaurs knows all about them, can pronounce their names perfectly, right? And here I am struggling here with the name of this guy. This guy here, I'm reading about him, okay, but his name is I don't know. A N K Y L O An Kylosaurus. Anyway, he's saying that it was a large herbivore animal. Uh, with its armour being an impressive feature and also they're saying that his tail uh, recent research shows that the tail was strong and during its oscillation it brought devastating blows to its predators and here's a big guy over here now this is Taurosaurus latus it has the biggest head wow look at that He looks really cool. Let me see what it says. So he was around 68 to 72 million years ago. Its skull was surrounded by a frill and brought three horns. It is among the largest skulls of any known land animal and reached 2.6 meters in length. Um, whereas his body reached nine meters in length, blah, blah, blah. Four to six tons. A few years ago, there was a debate among scientists whether Taurosaurus is a distinct species or a mature Triceratops. However, present scientific work claims that they are different species due to their external morphological differences. Right, and the last one is a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Right, hello, Mrs. Stegosaurus. 
Stegosaurus, right. Had the smallest brain. Um, he was around when Jurassic in okay. They lived in Western North America during the Jurassic, so 145 to 157 million years ago. Nevertheless, in 2006, it was found in Portugal. Wow, which expands its presence in Europe as well. Steg Stegosaurus means covered lizard in reference to the body plates and distinctive tail spikes. Uh, herbivore with a distinctive heavily built structure. But herbivore means why? It just eats plants, probably. Yeah. It has a very small brain compared to its size, approximately 80 grams, although the animal weighed nearly 5 tons. Its brain was no larger than that of a dog's. Isn't that amazing? Right, and the last guy over here. Megaraptor. Mega, mega raptor. Right. Um, this is, here he is here. Mega raptor. What was he was found that lived in Patagonia, Argentina, during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 88 to 89 million years ago. The first fossil was found was a single sickle-shaped foot claw, 30 centimeters in length, and was the only evidence to what the complete animal looked like. Later, a complete front limb was discovered and showed this giant claw actually came from the first finger of the hand. The hands were unusually elongated, bearing sickle-shaped claws. So there you go. You know, I look at all these models of the dinosaurs, right? And I'm thinking, how are they 100% sure that this is exactly what they were like? I'm sure they can tell, they they, they will be able to, to uh, counterclaim and say exactly that they look exactly the way as, as they are in the in the animations and models and stuff, so I don't know. There's like, like a big, what, what, did, what did they call them? Big, uh, like an elephant thing, I can't even name it way back. Anyway, that's that, I better take leave of absence now and just go. Well, that's highly recommended. Um, the Natural History of Crete. Uh, yeah, I was very impressed by it, so if you, anybody is in Crete um, and you want to be impressed, come to the Natural History of Crete. Na sorry, yeah, Natural History Museum of Crete. That's what it is. Okay, I'll go up here a little bit further and then I'll go back into the town.